It's Saul Goodman, Kevin Goodman, that is. A 78 overall cornerback from Florence Graham, California is headed our way to Salona Beach. Call it the Philip Rivers effect because we were able to hook Kevin in. He disregarded conference prestige, television exposure just to come play for us. Last year, we landed John John, the best recruit in Salona Beach history, and he has paid off nicely in the trenches as a true freshman. Leading the team with three sacks and seven TFLs, that's not bad for a true freshie going up against Mountain West competition. So I expect big things from Kevin Goodman as well, our new number one best recruit of all time when he steps foot on campus next season. Man has 95 speed, 90 excel, 80 plus man, zone, and press. That's yummy. Still in the trenches fighting for a few more prospects that would definitely take our recruiting class to the next level. Scott Osborne, Jamie Stone, Robert Thomas, David Barry, and Adrian Young would be huge signees. At four and two, I believe Salona Beach is in a good spot. We can turn it up and make a second half run for the Mountain West Championship, but ultimately more important in the grand scheme of things, we need to get to a bowl game get that dub and free ourselves from all restraints. I want to recruit guys four stars and up. I sense this episode is going to be jam-packed, full of intensity as every game matters. And a playoff win will set us up for years to come. Soak it up right here, right now, as Salona Beach plays host to our San Diego rival, the Aztecs. The battle for San Diego is no small thing. For the Surfers Cup, for San Diegans, and for all the pride, it's go time. Some good news and bad news. Bad news, Brandon Moore is still dealing with a strained shoulder and we don't know when he'll come back. That was from a few weeks ago. Good news is we have 10 prospects visiting us today in the battle for San Diego, so we have to put on a show. And when San Diego State makes the trip up north to Salona Beach, it's hostile territory. San Diego State has a pretty impressive rush attack, but we got the stronger defense. It's time for kickoff. The stands are packed. Everyone comes flocking to the stadium when it's the battle for San Diego. Adam Allen, who had a little scuffle with Philip Rivers in week one is our quarterback, and that's not by choice. Adam Allen is determined to win back Philip Rivers' trust, as that's a good connection to Buchanan for a first down. And I'm going to totally act like I didn't see that fumble from Brent Burrell and give the rock back to him. Third and four, early conversion opportunity, and King's got it. Dropping it back, scrambling out. Just going to dump it out here to Rock Boston. The senior is going to be a big piece in this second half run. A couple fan favorites, Rock Boston and Brent Martin. We couldn't get the bull victory for Brent, but we got to do it for Rock and in Brent Martin's honor. Donnie Turner got wrangled down there, so let's see if Kai Smallwood can come through with a big kick. And dude, I don't know if I can figure out the kicking game. I don't know if the sliders are way too too high on our difficulty for kicking but uh we got to bounce back on defense let's get the stop here and don't let the aztecs get a big first down as the qb scrambles and i just deck him defense took a little step back in year three but in year four they are retooled and refreshed and as soon as i say that we get cooked all right so it's gonna be like that today we got our back against the wall sutton finishing it off that was a little too easy for the aztecs we cannot have that going forward football down right on the sponge everyone knows when you're on the sponge you get magical powers that just increase your game to the next level that is crazy that i literally just called that with Adam Allen, baby. 54 yards and a huge touchdown. Anything goes in the battle for San Diego. And what did I say about the magical powers that the sponge logo gives at midfield? Adam was out of there. Big offensive drive. Next up on defense, get a lucky drop. Fresh off a big strike. It's second and 10. We're going to dump it to Donnie Turner, who gets up the midfield. Back to the magical sponge. We are smack dab on the sponge logo. You know what happened last time. Let's see if the good luck is on our side. Rock Boston. That's that's a little underthrown. Wait, no, it's not. Touchdown. I don't know how else to explain this. It's got to be supernatural because we're two for two from the logo. Rock Boston does the rest. Insane production on offense here in the battle for San Diego. Now defense looking to you guys to make a stop third and inches. Crumb steps up. He's got it and some he's gonna do his thing just under two minutes this is the time to dial up the blitz and that pressure was in there fast led by john john salona beach gets the hold two minute drill adam allen going to work donnie turner starting off with the runs go back to the read option it worked really well the last time we ran it and man it's just working pretty good today. Not quite at the logo yet, but don't think I don't have my eyes on it. Second and 22, Rock Boston looks pretty open to me. Let's get it to the man. All right, we aren't touching the logo this time, but we are pretty close to it. So let's scramble. Let's get forward for the first. Okay, now we're touching the logo. So that means I have to take my shot to the end zone right here, right now to see if the good luck continues and... All right, we're done with that trend. All right, cool. We got that out of our system, and now we can go for this uber-aggressive fourth down play. We convert. Jennings comes through. Third and three. A lot of pressure coming in, and we fumble it. Oh, my goodness. The strip sack brings us down. They're in scoring position now. Totally wouldn't complain if we get a big TFL right here, and Willie was trying to. John John was trying to. Second and three just outside the end zone. I'm bringing in the blitz. It doesn't matter. Brooks scores. It's not about the size of the dog in the fight. It's the fight in the dog 
dog that matters most here and we'll get the dog going we're gonna quickly learn which of our guys got that dog in them and rock boston is a dog a little bit of a mid attack here in the middle is so open so the play design works to perfection we're in the red zone so far i'm happy with the response the guys are given and there we go jennings get us into the red zone and goal line efficient work now let's see if brent burrell can do what we brought him in to do score touchdowns and there it is when it's goal to go you give the rock to brent he's money adam's reaction is appropriate for us all salona beach fans man the boys came to play today i like what i'm seeing and get the stop fourth and inches we know the aztecs are going for it on fourth and inches here so i gotta send the house and pauling steps in on the slant he has got a chance to take it all the way back Get sponged on, son. Ice up. We soak it up for six. Compliment your creative school challenge gone right. Pick six. Usually, I don't get away with complimenting my squad. They'll burn me, but this time, we're paying dividends. The extra point, it's no good. I'm taking flyers in the comment section. Who wants to be my kicker next year? Big defensive stand here can ice out this game, and there's a sack from Big Willie. It's crunch time for the Aztecs. They have to convert here. He's scrambling out again and is dropped once more. Is that Willie again? Oh, man. Eat him up. Fourth and ten. Just need to play some tight coverage, and we're going to walk on out of here victorious. We got a chance for another pick. This time, well who's gonna get this one and return it back in hopes for a pick six nifty spin big play you know what i just thought of that i totally forgot a second ago we have a lot of prospects in attendance today philip rivers you did yourself a good one way to impress all the young recruits and arguably give us the game of the year for salona beach it was all salona beach in this one san diego state did not do much to scare us as the defense played big, the offense played big, the logo at the middle of the field played big. Adam Allen, have yourself a game. Daryl Caldwell said, I've seen enough. I'm coming to Solon Beach. But you already know we ran up the points on all these other guys. Yeah, check that out. Down by a thousand points to Wisconsin. We turned the tide with Adrian Young here completing all five game goals. We are far from home in this next one going up against the Wyoming Cowboys. Jacob McCauley, I hate to say it, man, but we're going to ruin your visit. In the sight of this one, is Laramie, Wyoming, usually cold around this time, extremely high elevation, the highest elevation of any college football stadium in the nation. We're going to have to have the oxygen ready on the sidelines because coming from sea level to this is insane. Moment of truth. I didn't check the report. Is Brandon Moore back? He is no longer restrained by a shoulder injury let's see how he does in this return first pass is garbage adam allen was low-key cooking it up last game and uh yeah that's another inaccurate ball i don't appreciate the situation our quarterbacks keep putting us in it's like who do i roll with who wants to win the job because one week it's one guy the next it's the other and you know what philip rivers has had to live with this torment for like two years now as Brandon Moore doesn't even see the linebacker just lurking underneath. Ultimately, Philip Rivers is gonna do what's in the best interest of our team and what's gonna help us win. Like I said, it's just kind of the nature of the beast. The hot hand is gonna get the start. Fourth down, good hold. At least the defense can get a big stop for us. Haven't seen Brandon Moore's legs yet, but we do know that is a huge part of his game. And there it is, first down. First down, let's give him the special here as we scramble and fumble it. Who's gonna get that ball? Not our guy, unfortunately. Two turnovers from Brandon. I got gotta put the man on a tight leash now can't be having this dude come back from injury and just cough it up and what a hit stick oh my goodness pete goins got past me in the first layer but not that guy surprised to see that the guy's still in the game but uh joke's on us and wait no the joke's on wyoming what is he doing running out of bounds i thought he's gonna score now it's third and goal they have to come up with something big here and yeah that slant play just couldn't cover two guys at once sick and tired of this qb battle but you know what it's gonna be brandon moore's last chance here if he does not get the job done i'm bringing in adam little play action blitz is coming in extremely extremely hot and no chance to escape third and long maybe a big play will get us to the promised land and bro we don't even have time all right i think we've seen enough we gave brandon moore a one quarter test trial and i think that's all he's going to get in this one i think the injury to his shoulder still has some lingering effects here and adam allen just coughs it up man and what are we doing is this the same team that played against san diego state because now wyoming's driving into the red zone and scoring again is it the elevation change the lack of oxygen i, I need to know because we're looking lackluster third and two qb sprint out yep we got an open tight end rock Boston sells. You should already know Philip Rivers is not about that punting lifestyle. So we're going to keep it on fourth down. QB scramble. Adam Allen's got so much grass. Pass midfield. Maybe the tides can turn just about now and we'll take our time. Get it to Buchanan. 
Yes, sir. See if we can finish with some points on the board. And Rock Boston is wide open. Got a blocker. Even with the slow delay there, I thought he was going to score. Man just took his time to gather his bearings, but it's all good. Brent Burrell finishes it off. What did I say? Tide is turning, and we got an opportunity to score once more on the run. Delivering a ball. The red zone vulture, Brent Burrell, is back, and he wants more. And Brent Burrell does it again. Bro, it's literally deja vu. I sim the kickoff. We get a turnover, and we're back into the end zone with Brent Burrell. What an insane turn of events. Wyoming choked a 14-0 lead, and if they're not careful, it's all gas, no breaks. Big third down. Let's send in the house. Victor Stevens getting through. He gets hit while throwing it. It's over. Cortez Babcock, give me that ball back. It's third and 11. New opportunity here to go to Buchanan, and we miss him. Wasn't dangerous enough on offense. Maybe I meant I was feeling dangerous on defense. Let's feel it out here with the blitz, and boom, what a sack. It's third down again. It looks like Wyoming's defense came to play in the second half, but we'll move the chains. Come at it with a read option here. Got some room up ahead. Got some blockers. Oh, man. Adam Allen, are you going to do it twice in one episode? Give the move. Yes. Keep going. Adam Allen, clean with it today. Making things right with Phillip Rivers literally one play at a time. And geez, we're right down to the one. Did you guys start Brent Burrell in fantasy today? Because he's going for his fourth touchdown. He's got it. That is a school record. Four touchdowns in one game. We are literally one quarter away from being bowl eligible. And man, I'm liking our odds. If we can just finish this one out clean third and eight three minutes remain it's a little slip screen but our big man john john is there brings up fourth down and long he's got a man Jeez, he was open got some familiar faces out here with rashad kevin stuckey see if some of these young guns can make the play and then it all came down to this fourth and goal i'm here victor you're not getting it past him and you're not getting it past jim hicks this man has been on a tear getting his first opportunity to start as a cornerback. The sophomore is making big plays. Couldn't get all the way free, but free enough. Yeah, I'm telling you, if you're not a Salona Beach fan already, you better jump on now before it's too late because we're feeling ourselves. One piece at a time. Amir Barber, welcome to the team. Look at this three-star stud we just found in the recruiting portal. Michael Anderson. You might be wondering what's so great about this guy. Only 68 overall, yeah, but 97 speed. Another speedster. Fresno State rolling into town. This is always a pesky opponent to deal with. Brandon Moore still not officially cleared from the injury report, so we're going to go with Adam Allen again. Philip Rivers getting the guys ready to go, wearing the all blacks, cursive script. Fresno State also wearing the cursive script in an all white. The squad is already six and two, and you just love to see it. That means we're bowl eligible, fighting every game now for a better better bowl. What a difference a season makes, man. We were fighting in the basement just last year, and now we're towards the top. Third and 11, let's get the stop and get that ball back on offense, and it was about to be a first down, but hey, we'll take a drop. An opportunity comes knocking, you definitely want to pick up, and King picks up that catch and rumbles his way down for a nice 20-yard gain. Second and 11, dropping back. Anyone open? Nah, we're just going to keep it. Tuck it and run. Adam Allen getting some yards and sliding down. Where's the flag? Late hit. Allen shakes himself off, and he's going to step up and deliver a ball to Rock Boston. That gets lurked. Briggs with a pick and the stick. And the mistake is spelling trouble as the Fresno State Bulldogs are driving and scoring. I did say Fresno State can be a pesky team to go up against, and they're playing pretty pesky and McFadden out of nowhere. Nowhere. Huge play gets us back to a good position here. Pressure once more. Just gonna have to dump it to Chavis who gets a spin. I see you freshman fullback getting your play in and wow. Two minute drill. We got an opportunity to score and tie this thing up. I see our tight end spring open. Can he haul it in? Rock Boston down to the one. One yard line. Can you guess what I'm about to do next? Handoff. Brent. Easy. Seven apiece. Third down. Can we make a play? Moss. Oh, he's out of bounds. I was wondering why we were celebrating. They're going to settle for a field goal. Was that short? No, he made it. Just about 49 seconds to do our thing. No problemo. Buchanan's going to start it off with a kick return down the sideline. What a return. That's that Alaskan blood in him. He's got some athletic ability, and I just decided to keep it myself. I actually didn't realize I was past the line of scrimmage, and I fumbled. Excuse me. I thought that was going to be halftime, but the Sim throws a 48-yard dot for six. Apologies for that. We were literally outside of midfield and uh, like no time left. I guess that's why you can't be sleeping on Adam Allen's arm. Third and forever to go. Pressure coming in. We go across the middle. King couldn't make the diving catch. Just hanging on by four points still in the third quarter here. Uh, see if anything can go and 
makes a terrible decision forcing that one in. I thought our man was going to spring out more into the open field. Like I said, we still have these games every once in a while. It's the how many mistakes can you make and still win challenge. Third and short man in motion. Probably a run if I had to guess, right? Yep, read option. He flicks it out. Can we still get the stop? We can. Another unfortunate situation only being held to three points. So that's a win on defense. Wow, four yards in the second half. Adam Allen, I need you to step it up, my friend. It was just going to let it fly. Briggs knocks it down. Another offensive drive stalled out we are having trouble against this fresno state defense just about midfield here i read that slip screen from a mile away but look at that garbage look at that garbage do you see it touchdown fresno state we can hope for a two-point conversion failure right here but that is a failure the how many blunders can you make and still win challenge is here still and maybe we can get that win part here successfully in the W column with a kick return touchdown Buchanan. 98 yards to the house. It's a monumental moment in Salona Beach history here. A kick return touchdown. The first of our series, Kellen Buchanan from Alaska. Ice in his veins. He's soaking up this moment. Big plays keeping us alive in this one, surprisingly. I don't think we should still be in it. King hauls it in for two-point conversion. Sponge fans going crazy, losing their mind. Safe to say Adam Allen has come back to earth in this one, but the defense laying the boom. Made sure Victor didn't whiff on that tackle, and he didn't whiff there. Somehow Jordan holds it on. Third and goal now with just a minute left. You get the sense that this drive is extremely important. If they can't cash in on this next down, it's game. Oh, right. Brain fart. We're only up by three. Let's ice him. All right, I guess this kicker had the anti-freeze attribute enabled, so... He's going to get a nice, easy chip shot. Getting dominated in every aspect of the game so far, we only have miracles on our side that's keeping us alive. And well, I'm tentative to use a timeout because I want to see what happens on this next play before I start going to the well. Just launch one up, see if he turns around. Buchanan turns around, makes the play. My goodness. What did I say? We have miracles on our side and we have an open man. It's another would have been miracle that king fella not living up to the king sponge reputation maybe the slant play back to king 51 yard field goal kai smallwood has a small wood lately and he can't seem to nail any of these not to mention he's frozen so well shoot i was thinking about doing a fullback run getting a couple more yards then taking the field goal after using my timeout but i just realized it either take a penalty and go backwards or just kick the field goal so i'm kicking the field goal and wish me luck <laughs> oh my gosh that was atrocious and i thought i had a max power bar there well this must be exciting for the fans we got ot action here rock boston make that haul baby looks like we might need another miracle or two brent burrell good stuff let's go back to the well read option this time adam allen up the middle yes sir just gotta play a little bit of defense and we can send the home fans happy but uh yo who let Wood get so open? If there's ever a time for the defense to dial up a massive play, it is now, and bruh. Now it's all tied up again, and Joshua Wood's got another chance to score. Let's plug it. Yep, this is definitely a ballsy play with him lining up four receivers to the right. We just call a massive blitz, and hey, it paid out. I've never seen a more beautiful sight than this, a field goal attempt. We held them in double OT. Now we get the ball, and it's our time to ride. No, it happened again. I kid you not, it happened again. It's happened in my imperialism video. It happened in another video earlier where we ended up winning over time because of this stupid glitch. And it's back. It's actually back. We lost because it gave the ball back to Fresno State instead of giving us a chance on offense. Look at this. The game's over because it thinks we didn't get a chance. This is some bogus stuff, man. These guys are so freaking lucky we're not on a national championship run or else I would be beside myself. I'm already pretty PO'd about it, but I would be absolutely livid right now if the championship was on the line. Is it just me that's dealing with this? Someone else, please tell me I'm not alone. At least it wasn't for a national championship and yeah, five turnovers isn't very pretty to go with a win. So suddenly I feel so much better. Adrian Young, good news, he's committed to us. He's gonna join John John right in the trenches. All right, time to forget the fact that Fresno State just rained on the parade, but it's okay. We're headed to Hawaii and uh, let's have a little destination fun. Brandon Moore still not cleared entirely yet. This man might need surgery. Ah, yes. Beautiful weather. Lovely state. We're out in Hawaii for this matchup. Where it's cold in most other parts of the nation, it sure as heck is nice and toasty out here in Hawaii. Philip Rivers has got his boys humming at the right time in the right part of the year. 
we're going to shake off that Fresno State loss like it didn't even happen. Best thing to do is just to open a can of whoop on the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. And how did he catch that ball? Victor Stevens cracks through, but it doesn't matter. He's got Ashlock wide open. Third and four, bringing in a blitz. Let's get the stop. Yes, sir. Great deflection. We're playing chess out here. And just like chess, we got to sacrifice some early games to get the big time setup. Take it from me, the man that played elementary school chess. And outside of that, I got about 10 games in my belt for the last like five years total. Adam Allen doing a good job driving us down this field. I like the drive we're sustaining. Glad we can come out here and expose this Hawaii defense. Your goal line go-to man, Brent Cash is in. All right, I see how it is. 99 yard kick return touchdown for Hawaii. What are you gonna do? Little second quarter action here. McCorder is open. Adam Allen delivers and he's breaking free. Breaking free of another man. Do a little juke. Looks like Adam Allen got got that garbage game out of his system and he's ready to go perfect today. So far seven for seven through the air. I am determined to keep that up. Ready to go on a little streak. Drop a comment. How many passes in a row do we complete? There's eight. Rock Boston with a big one in a big truck. Within the five, it's only fitting I give Brent another opportunity to score and score he will not. Take two with Donnie Turner. Action. Cut. Take three. Let's try it again. Donnie, thank you. Brent dealing with some pack spasms. Looks like we're going to sub in Brandon Moore as his replacement? Question mark. I go for two because I just had to see if that was true and it looks like I was getting trolled. It's Cozart coming in and not Brandon Moore, the quarterback. When we're not giving up kick return touchdowns, I believe we can come up and make a defensive stand. To the victor goes the spoils. Victor Stevens with the stop. All right, Adam, keep dropping back, making the right pass. There's nine for nine. This is super encouraging to see. Make it 10 for 10. This time to Buchanan, the Alaskan. 11 for 11. It's time to take a shot. And I threw a bad ball there. Thankfully, King caught it. Do we risk it for the biscuit? Four verts? Why not? Let's see if we can let it fly. We got Rock Boston wide open. A magical start to the game for our guy. He gets sold there. So the streak is broken. It was a bad pass, but actually hit the hands of our receiver. So was it a bad pass? Yes. Yes, it was. But should it have been caught actually? Yes, that is also true. But let the incompletions fly. Kai, will you actually make a field goal this time? I've had a hard time even getting one with you. Quick turn of events. We got an opportunity to score here with 16 seconds left. Handed it off to Brent. Definitely want to see if I can get into a position here where Kai Smallwood can take another crack. Six seconds left. Let's give it a quick handoff here to Brent. See if we can get a few more yards, go down and get on to the field goal. Perfect. Just a chip shot here for Smallwood. He's got a big one on that one. Halftime, 19-10 out in Hawaii. Adam Allen cooking up a really efficient game against the Rainbow Warriors. We are not afraid of this opponent. What a spin. Dropping him back, ready to rip. They sent an all-out blitz. Brent Rell is just so open with no one in the vicinity. Make it an easy six, would you? Third and 10, they need this here. It looks like a screen type play. Got a lot of guys in motion, and what the heck? It worked out, but the hit stick fumble. Big time. Allen, let's drop it back. Oh, we had him wide, but I don't hit him in time. We'll still sling one out and get him anyway. Jennings breaks a tackle, bro. It's child's play out here. Come on, man. It's too easy. Probably not much point in me keeping you much longer, as you can see what's going to be happening here. It looks like a dub is in our hands, and that ball could not stay in his hands. So I'll keep you if anything juicy happens. That was a fumble. Okay, Apparently, that's a strip sack fumble. I kind of think that should be challenged, but as we suspected outside of that fumble, not much of a threat here in this one. We're going to finish it out with the dub. Come on down to Hawaii and make these beaches our own. Salona Beach sponges put on a performance. Brent had a great game. Hawaii falls to 2-8, and eight, and man, I remember those days at the basement. It's a long way up, but... You got to start working somehow, somewhere. The roadshow continues after Hawaii. We're taking a pit stop in Boise, Idaho. Boise State somehow with the lackluster record, but they're still an 88 overall offense and defense. But yeah, this is definitely iconic. Salona Beach Sponges, first time on the blue turf. I always get pumped up to play on the blue. This is going to be so much fun. Boise State. Salona Beach, it's showtime, and Kalen Buchanan down the sideline kicks it off with a bang. Went from sunny beaches to fur coats. Definitely riding with Adam Allen, the hot hand in this one. It's no point in getting away from it. Third and five starts right here, right now. We got Jennings dialed up. Allen playing some textbook football as indicative of the star under his name. It's third down just outside the red zone. Let's drop it out to Buchanan. And yeah, we weren't even close. We'll let Kai get the first crack at 
points and down the middle. Playing some defense on the blue, this is gonna be fun as Tiller just runs right past us. Wow, it's definitely interesting to see the Boise State Broncos a few years into the sim as Tiller is a starting quarterback, Dubar the starting running back. It's a whole different look. Third and short, let's finish off this drive. Make a play, Coleman jumps in front of it. Second and 12, wow, we got ripped and fast. Strip sack, fumble, recovered by Boise. Blitzing up the middle, we got some pressure. Terry's got it though, he's gonna score it looks like. Down to the one. First and Cole, it's gotta be a handoff, am I right? Nope, scrambling out, Tiller is, he's got a man but I blanketed it and that's a big sack. This is scary. It was like at the one yard line and uh, straight hand. Flag though, bring it back, please. That's right, little pass interference from Joel Higgins. Nah, 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 buddy. Coach, livid about that. But for Salona Beach, we absolutely love to see it. And no matter what they do there, yeah, fourth and goal. First and 10, Blitz is coming in hot. Adam Allen thankfully gets away. He has so much blue turf in front of him. Third and five, just past midfield. We don't dial this up too often, but let's try a slip screen and yeah, it didn't go anywhere. Fourth and seven. I want to go for it. I'm going to throw a strike to Turner. And he fumbled. We had the first down on the big conversion, but we fumbled. A few interesting plot twists early in this one. Need to make a stop here. We do. We're going to get that ball back more than likely. Our back is up against the wall. Let's just get some space here. One yard, maybe. Second and 13. I just got baited into throwing that curl flat. That's a pick six for Hawthorne. I felt the pressure being backed up against their end zone, and it really got to me there. And it's getting to me again. Oh, my goodness. I'm flopping. Third and 17. We just can't get cooked. That's really all we're asking for, and we'll take it. Crazy how a couple big mistakes aren't actually coming back to bite us as of this moment. And he missed the field goal. So after all that garbage you just witnessed, we're still down by only a touchdown, that's incredible. Uh-oh, all of a sudden the Wigglies are out and we're getting rattled up against Boise State and I had a couple dudes. Wow, we're getting dropped left and right. O-line in shambles. 25 seconds left in the half. They're out of timeouts, but this is kind of brutal. We're getting beaten up by the Broncos. Thankfully, that huge sack forces a spike. And wow, talk about risky. Third and 18, if they catch the ball and go down inbounds this game... We can forget about that. So the Broncos starting to pull away just a smidge and the pressure is unstoppable. It's year four of the rebuild and the offensive line is still one of the hardest parts to rebuild at, the, at this moment. Adam Allen getting nifty with it. And he fumbles, come on. We should have just gone down, that's on me. What can go wrong has been going wrong against the Broncos. Third and short, let's scramble out here. Jeez, it's fourth down. This has been crazy to see right now. And what a bad pass and a hit stick fumble anyway. So it's not even like it mattered. So simply put right now, it feels like the game does not want us to win. Benjamin breaks free. We're stuck in between a rock and a hard place as of this moment. Can someone drop this man, someone do something. Thank you, incomplete. Okay, okay, I got the word from Phillip Rivers. All we were trying to do was get down 17 and then we can finally start playing some football. It all makes sense now. We just wanted a little bit of an extra challenge and now we can start cooking as this big deep ball misses the open receiver. Come back with a little bit of read option. There's two dudes waiting there, that's not fun. Third and nine, we've had so much fun today at quarterback, thankfully complete one pass. Dropping it back, looking for someone to get open and good block there, giving us some space. This is crazy, we're in the red zone? No way, not for long with that big sack and fumble. And oh brother, it looks like Adam Allen took one too many hits. It's Brandon Moore, the crippled dude in the game. Gonna throw one up deep, he's got Buchanan. Cannon. Wow, okay, first play, big lob, and six. Could Brandon once again be the spark we need to get the boys going? Adam Allen dealing with some back spasms and the re-injury risk is high. One play in, a score from Brandon Moore, that's nuts, but CJ Tiller with a wide open playground and a hit stick and he still holds on. The clock is ticking down in this one. Time is of the essence. The Boise State Broncos are chewing every last second. We have to get a stop on this third down to just give our offense an opportunity. Please come through. He's got all day. Tiller finds a man and when you have all day, you're gonna find your guy. Oh, okay. Adam Allen didn't expect to have you back so soon, but we got him and we'll go back to Buchanan. This guy's making plays. Down 17 with just two minutes left. We're literally in just chuck up Hail Mary mode. See if we can get anything to go and done. Not too happy with Adam Allen's play today, but the offensive line was atrocious if we're being honest. And hey, McCorder, you dropped it, bro. Come on. Had six in his hands. I guess he just didn't really want it that bad. Adam Allen goes down again. It's not a joke. I think we've actually been sacked like 10 times this game and another out of bounds ball to a receiver that had a step. It was a brutal performance today from Salona Beach. And yeah, Richard Brown had himself a game with an int, two sacks, two TFLs. 
And there was another dude that had four sacks for the Broncos. So not looking too hot over here. Going into the final week of the regular season, Salona Beach atop the Mountain West West Division, and we're tied with our San Diego rival. Fresno State also up in there with a 4-3 and three conference record. This final week's important to keep an eye on Salona Beach, San Diego State, and Fresno State. We got UNLV at home for Senior Day. Not only is it Senior Day, we have another wave of three-star prospects visiting us. We let senior standout Rock Boston pick out the jerseys for today, and he's sending off the seniors with the black and lavender. Starting off on defense, this is a menacing looking crew out here, and wow, what a catch from Jackson. If I was a betting man, I would say that that luck will not continue for much longer, but what do I know as Jones just bust right through the defense, and he's gonna go pretty much almost all the way. What an end it has been to the second half of the season, and we at least got eligible another win it might put us in contention for the mountain west championship game but man UNLV came out slinging. Adam Allen still a little banged up from all the sacks he took last game. I think it's time to give Brandon Moore at least the first crack, see what he can do. Second and 10, handoff to Brent Burrell. Yes, what a spin and a stiff arm. Sharing the love with freshman fullback Chavis. He's up the gut. I think I'm gonna dial up the play action. It's usually risky these days, but we got a wide open Rock Boston. There's the big senior, number 88. Thank you for all the hard work over the years. He's helped build this program. He saw them at their worst. He saw them when Dylan Wade was still around. There truly aren't many guys left that can say they were around for those days. Would love to call Rock Boston's name at least once today, and we got an opportunity to do it early. Let's go ahead and try that again. Maybe it works. And he is open. Touchdown, Rock Boston. Showing some love to our senior target. And wow, it happened again. This time, another kick return touchdown. The special teams coach might have to get canned. We can't keep allowing this. Special teams, man, what is going on? This is ridiculous. I sim the punt return, and the defense for UNLV gets a safety. I can't right now. It just seems like they're trying to sell us on senior day what even is that all right so let's look back you know these special teams has a kick return touchdown and a safety third and inches just need the conversion we got the wheels but we'll dump it out to buchanan who bounces off a guy and gets the block he's free what a play kellen buchanan running it back with another play action over the middle just swallowed and adam allen is back in the fray that last play must have injured our guy and buchanan can't hold on that definitely felt unlike buchanan but we'll take three stop here and we might be able to take a lot more than just three points. Stevens. Oh, he read that so good, but thankful the troops reinforced. Game's not over until it's over. Buchanan on the punt return. Little spin move. Looking so nifty with it. Breaking four tackles. 29 seconds to go. We got Brock Boston across the middle. Laying the wood. Marching right down this field. I'm gonna scramble. We got a running back. That's Brent who has an open lane in front of him. First and 10. Dropping it back. Scrambling once more. We have an open receiver. Holding on there. Buchanan. Dialing it up fast. Going with the triple option. Flicking it out to Brent. Up the middle timeout. Ain't no way we are going up for a field goal. We're taking six. Better yet, we get the ball to start the second half. So we score and get a chance to do it again. Having a pretty good game all around. I believe that Brandon Moore can lead us to victory. A happy ending on senior day would only be fitting. Strike to Jennings. First and goal. Go-to guy in the goal line. You know who it is. Brent for six. Back on top in this one. We'd love to see it. To keep it a buck, I think there's only one senior on defense right now and it's Dennis Broxton. So uh, hoping for him to go out with a victory would be nice. But yeah, this is a young defense fighting our way back from the depths we're not going to get cheesed out of this one as buchanan just makes a move and is off to the races 95 speed the alaskan bowl worm or should i say sponge what a big play it's all smiles here today on senior day we overcame the deficit and have stepped up in a big way. With two minutes left, the sponges have come out and said, hey, we're not a team to be messed with. Our true callers are showing. I feel so confident in this game that I've let senior Rock Boston take a couple snaps at quarterback because why the heck not? You already know for the memes we're going to try to score in touchdown and Rock Boston with the carry on the read option, first down. He may only be a 40 overall at quarterback, but who cares? He's got an open man wasn't accurate. I have a feeling here on Heisman and advanced sliders, we're not going to have an easy time with this task. Last chance, third down and 10. Going to lob one up. Does he have him? Oh my goodness. Rock Boston, the senior tight end, number 88, drops back, throws a dime to McCorder to cap off his career. He's not done though. Man knows the championship game and bowl game are just right around the corner, but what a moment for the senior. And there it is, Rock Boston. What a historic moment for the senior. What a way to send him off at his final home game in Salona. What a successful season finale with Robert Thomas, Scott Osborne, and Jamie Stone 
committing to the squad. It's conference championship week and we didn't make it. No way, man. Fresno State leapfrogs us in the final week of the season. They finished five and three in the conference, six and six overall. But since they had that tiebreaker against us by beating us, I guess they are the representative from the West. All right, what the heck? Lobos went nine and three, but that's not who Fresno State's going to be playing. They're playing the Rams in the championship game. Hey, but hey, you know what? This doesn't take away from the eight and four season the Sponges just had. And we're one win away in the bowl game from having the best season in Solana Beach history. Quick recap for you. Here's your quarterbacks. Donnie Turner completed a 36-yard pass. Rock Boston with the iconic 15-yard touchdown lob. Brandon Moore injured for most of the year, but look at that. 1,000 yards on the dot. Adam Allen, 1,609. Coach Phillip Rivers is going to keep playing the hot hand. Brent Burrell here with 14 touchdown plunges. Buchanan with an 800 P and six. A sophomore speedster from Alaska is going to be a big piece moving forward. Rock Boston, the senior stud, has been a steady force on this offense for the last few years. Defensive line, four sacks apiece for John John, Willie, and Alex. But look at sophomore Jim Hicks with four picks, man. So inspirational. Tack on two forced fumbles for Jim Hicks, too. Still no sponges in the Heisman race. But all right, the bowl committee has determined we are going to play in the Hawaii Bowl against Tulane. Might look like an underdog on paper, but I think we can soak it up. Man, I can't stress enough how big this game is. Wow, Tulane is a top 10 offense. Let's go bowling a familiar location here. We've played in Hawaii earlier this year and cooked. This game has massive implications for the Salona Beach future. We have been extremely resourceful getting the guys that we've gotten with all the restrictions in place. So we need a win to unlock the game even further. And so far early in this one, I'm seeing things I don't like to see. They're just busting us and busting us in a big way. I've noticed the defense sometimes does this. We have a slow start and oh my goodness, what a deflection fumble. It's bull mania and that is a bull mania type play. Halfback screen, let's get in there and make a stop. It looked dire for a split second, but we hold them to three, that's a dub. Two good campaigns from two good teams this year. Unfortunately for one of them, it's gonna end sour. And you see the injury report right there. Howard, the quarterback for Tulane on a one quarter injury with a sprain. Brock Boston, my man. QB sprint out. He's always a threat with the legs. He can do damage and he's going to do just that. Looks like the shoulder's feeling okay after that collision. King gets us down to first and goal. Brandon Moore says no more Mr. Nice Guy. He's unleashing a new variant of himself. Look at that. Brandon and Mike connect for six. It's third and one. Let's plug the hole. It's time to pick on the quarterback because it's a backup out there. Okay, I guess we're reviewing that catch. Oh, it reversed. What? <coughs> As I choke on my water, the play was reversed. Hey, I can't complain if the refs are on our side. And shoot, I gotta take a second to thank all the Sponge fans that came out to Hawaii. Look to your right. There's a lot of lime and lavender. You can see the amount of lime and lavender that traveled out for the Hawaii Bowl. It's inspirational. They want to see this team succeed. And speaking of success, Buchanan is so open. That was a successful route. What do you say? Let's make Tulane regret coming out here today. Kai, we've had our ups and downs together, but I need you now. Badly and bro what 48 yard field goal big third down here can the defense stand let's just make the tackle get him down okay let's drop it back let's have a successful drive here jennings with the spin big play dropping it back once more dropped second and 21 let's give them something they won't forget and that's gonna be brandon moore with the legs you won't forget this second and five i can sense a little bit of pressure here coming in and they're diving for it brent what a snag my man cruising our way down let's go out to buchanan and shoot we missed him it's not a 48 yard field goal from this distance it's 47 yards but i already saw what kai smallwood can do and he's well short so i'm not feeling it i'm feeling like a handoff up to brent and that's the right move. Oh man, just to add some extra fuel to the fire, our San Diego rival, San Diego State, beat Clemson in their bowl game. So if we lose to Tulane, it'll go to show that San Diego State is the better team in the city, but nah, Brandon Moore's got other ideas. Up by 10, we're not finished. And look at all the traveling fans getting excited. Got a couple of quarters of clean football that we need to play. Steven's pushing his man back. He misses him. We're gonna get the ball back again. The offensive attack today has been insane from the sponges. I tried warning him, guys. I tried telling him the forecast was a sponge soak down. A powerful dual threat quarterback opens up so much in this game. I mean, just take a look. With just about one minute left and we got an open man. Shoot, he undercut it, Clayton. We we're late to that route and we got picked, but hey, it's okay. Let's D up. Little second half football here. No harm, no foul in that last one. We got B cannon open and geez, we got smacked while throwing that. We already know better that a top 10 offense is not going to go down without a fight. And seriously, man, he really fought for that. Second and three. 
What's he got? A wide open receiver, Douglas. That's who he's got. Up by 12, we gotta keep it pushing here. And he's open, he's got it. Touchdown, Jalen Rogers. Can't tell you how bad we need this victory. And Mike Jennings knows just how bad we need it. And oh my goodness, did that DB just flop or what? We need this bad and he just ate it. Hey, we'll take it. When it's in our favor, we love to see it. When it's against us, we hate to see it. Looks like someone let the dogs out on defense, man. And we're just starting to roll. Let's get Donnie Turner in motion. See if we can spring something here and we do it's Burrell Brent breaking free down the sideline man's got speed he finishes another dude another sponge stepping up two lane offense moving quickly down the field but there's four minutes left and we have a 19 point lead third and nine looking for that screen we read it all the way get down boy Victor Stevens let's get it clearly forcing the wave to go for it on fourth and 15 in the handoff draw Give me that victory. Bro, I am so amped up right now. I'm literally foaming at the mouth. And, okay, maybe I need to dial it back. I thought we had separation. Okay, still up by 19. That's the good part. And we got three minutes left. So we're just at least taking time off the clock. Phillip Rivers and Tony Hawk are literally two minutes away from hosting up their first ever trophy in Salona Beach history. It is a beautiful moment indeed. I don't care that they just scored a touchdown. At the end of year four, we're just starting to see the fruits of Tony Hawk's multi-million dollar investment. And better yet, we got a memory that'll last a lifetime for the players. Brandon Moore's so excited, he just can't hold it. Turnovers, baby. Someone in Vegas betted on Salona Beach plus 49. They betted the over, and so we gotta give them a show. It's totally gotta be that, right? Like, I don't know what else it could be. 40 seconds left. They literally have one timeout, so let's burn it here. Okay, and and with that, we're going to hand it off to Brent Burrell, finish it off. First down, it's game. And there it is, folks. Victory formation for the Salona Beach Sponges. We have done it. We have conquered the mountain, made the climb. We are going to go 9-4 and four in year four and we're gonna take home the Hawaii Bowl. Honestly though, that feels really fitting for a beach school to bring home the Hawaii Bowl as their first ever bowl victory. And come on now, the final second ticks off the clock. It is official. Salona Beach is the Hawaii Bowl champion. We take down the green wave, and that means so, so much for our dynasty going forward. We can get four five-star recruits. We can go anywhere in the United States. It doesn't even have to be a saltwater sponge. It can be a freshwater or landlocked sponge. Congratulations, we have won the Hawaii Bowl. We did it, it was one for the ages, and man, this has gotta be one of my favorite episodes in the Dynasty right now, because all the hard work, all the blood, sweat, tears, the year three setback that, I, that made me scared, we overcome and year four was a triumphant success. Nine and four best season yet, look at those last four years. We're definitely gonna miss Rock Boston next year, but man, we kept a lot of the squad intact for next season. Looks like we brought in a level 20 defensive coordinator, Adam Fuller, that's nice, and a level seven offensive coordinator where we can still allocate the points. You know exactly what I'm gonna do in the off season recruiting here? First order of business, it's an even playing field now, so let's see what guys are still out there and available for us to look at. It may be the end of the season, but we can take a look at Anthony Parker. Four-star quarterback from Jersey, so he He's still a saltwater sponge. That's cool. Well, unfortunately for us, most of the guys we just added were busts. So we'll stick with the guys we were already recruiting and go after that five-star quarterback next year. With that said, David Barry is definitely a guy that deserves a lot of points. Let's just give him a clean 6K. That should be enough to clear. Down a couple hundred, a couple thousand should be safe for this receiver. We're ahead by a couple thousand on Michael Anderson, but we definitely don't want to lose him. He's got 97 speed. And sure, we'll throw the rest on Jason Richardson. Didn't seem like many schools had a lot to offer him in the recruiting battle, so... Why not give our crack at it? Let's jump to signing day, see who we got. Oh boy, that did not go well, did it? Michael Anderson, our 97 speed guy is out of there. Did land David Barry, so that's cool, but definitely kind of bummed about some of the guys we missed out on. All in all though, the 62nd best signing day class is not too shabby. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I don't remember Anderson, the four-star guy we just signed. Well, all right then, we landed a four-star that I threw a scholarship at, but didn't give any points. And that's a fun fact for your next trivia game. The first ever four-star prospect in Salona Beach history is Eli Anderson. Went ahead and put Victor over to left outside linebacker Backer, so that can make room for David Barry, the new 76 overall true freshman middle linebacker. Scott Osborne, another talented linebacker from Alaska, joins the mix. Salona Beach sure loves their frozen sponges. And check out 
these signings, Goodman and Stone, will fit right in here in the secondary. And it looks like Amir Barber can plug and play on the offensive line. Training results are in. Adam Allen does take the biggest lead. But the way Brandon Moore stepped up at the end of the season in the last couple of games, I think he's the best bet going into the offseason. What? Kellen Buchanan just keeps getting faster. 97 speed now. We have nine players we have to cut. Start off with some low overalls here. And with that, we're all set up and ready to go with the year number five coming up in the next one. And if you're having fun and soaking up this series, stay tuned because trust me, the floodgates are wide open now and we're going to have so much fun with it. Plus, I make a bunch of other college football videos too. And if you want to stick around and soak it up some more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.